So, I was introduced to training and working out at a pretty young age. So it's Bay, and I'm just, um, for all my buddies out there, just wanted to show you my workout regimen and what I do. Yeah, so I was always around athletics and sports and mainly football growing up. So the transition into the weight room when I was about 12 seemed pretty natural to me. And while I am glad that I got that early start, I think that I lacked proper guidance and I didn't have any kind of set structure. And I also believed literally anything anyone said about fitness, whether they were a professional or just my buddy. And so all of that really set me up for failure. So I wanted to bring you guys some of my worst training mistakes. Hopefully you can improve on them and not make the same mistakes that I did. So take a trip with me back down memory lane as we revisit my five worst training mistakes. Prepare for the cringe. So my first mistake is actually in the kitchen. And hopefully if you're a teenager, you realize that nutrition is very important in your fitness. And I knew that as a teenager and I actually took it a step further. Um, I was really obsessed with being extremely lean and shredded and cut, whatever. And so I went on these extreme diets where I constricted myself to like 1200 calories a day, which is hard to believe, but I did it. Um, and it was nowhere nowhere near what I needed to be eating as an active teen who was, you know, playing sports and working out and lifting and stuff. So I don't know where I got this idea from, but it was way, way under what I needed to be eating. And if anything, I wish that I had, you know, gone to a little bit of a surplus and taken advantage of those years um, of high testosterone levels and lots of energy to, you know, capitalize on that and build a good foundational physique and build some strength up even. Um, so if you're a teen, don't worry about, you know, constricting your diet. Obviously, if you're actually overweight or obese, that's a different story. But for most teens, you can get by with enjoying yourself, you know? You only live through your teen years once and a lot goes on in it that's really fun. And my advice to you is just enjoy yourself. And unless you're like competing in like a bodybuilding show, and just have fun, you know? You can still make gains and you can still stay healthy while having a pretty flexible diet. My second mistake, ego lifting. Now, I did this a lot as a teenager, and I don't know why, because it's almost like I was trying to prove myself to somebody, but no one really cares in all actuality if we're being real. Um, and I sacrificed a lot of my form, and I think that I could have <laughs> I could have gotten a lot better results if I had dropped the weight a little bit and performed the exercise that the way they were supposed to be performed. Um, when I was like 18, I tried to squat like 410 on 410 pounds and I was able to squat like th around 350 at that time. But I was just trying to prove myself and um, I failed obviously, but luckily I wasn't injured. And that's the moment I kind of realized like, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Um, and it really just opened me up to injury as I'll touch on in a second, but it's really just not worth it guys. Um, perform the exercise that the way, the way they're supposed to be performed, do it with good form, and the results that you get will be far better than the person who's lifting 20 or 30 pounds more, but they're cheating using other body parts. Eight. Nine. Ten. So, my third mistake has to do with routine, and Having a routine isn't necessarily a bad thing, but the mistake that I made was I had the same workout split and I did that week after week, month after month, year after year. Curls, hammers, shoulder touches, sitting curls, squ and squat easy curls. We're gonna do three rounds of all of those. And before you always do a r any workout, you always gotta make sure you warm up. And the problem was I was only hitting chest, arms, shoulders, and then occasionally I would throw in some back and legs. Um, the bro workout, if you will. And so what happens is after you do this for a long amount of time, the muscles that you're working pull your posture forward. And which is what happens is your shoulder blades become winged. 
and I'll throw a picture up on the screen. But as you can notice, my shoulder blades are becoming protracted, naturally as all the muscles on the front of my body are pulling them forward. And what happens is, over time, this opens your shoulders to instability and injury. And that's exactly what happened to me. I dislocated both of my shoulders partially and tore both of my labrums, which I ended up having to get labrum surgery on. And each, each surgery has about a year of recovery time. Um, so it set me back about two and a half years in total. Um, so if I had a balanced workout regimen and I was hitting thing, everything evenly, the routine would have been fine. Um, luckily, it was I was able to fix it after my surgeries by working out more of my back muscles and shoulder blade muscles. And I was able to equalize it out, as you can see in this picture. Um, but it took a long time. It took a lot of effort and a lot of pain. And so if I were you, and you're in the same routine that I just described, maybe change it a little bit so that you're also working your back and look at other areas of your physique where it might be imbalanced so that you can make sure that you're becoming the most well-rounded and strongest version of yourself. Um, and <laughs> it'll save you a lot of pain and suffering in the future. So my fourth mistake was that I believed literally everything I heard about fitness, um, whether it was a professional or it was my buddy, or it was bodybuilding.com. Uh, I bought into all of the bullshit that the fitness industry feeds to you. Um, and I had a very optimistic worldview, like a lot of teenagers. I, I was very trusting, and I think that it set me up for failure because I was doing everything the wrong way. Um, and you have to realize that a lot of people in fitness are pretty much trying to sell you something if you boil it down. Um, supplement companies are always trying to sell you something as a product. Uh, trainers are trying to sell you online coaching or whatever it is. If we're being real, I'm trying to sell you this video by having you watch it and click on it. Um, so my advice to you to help you avoid some of the mistakes that I had made um, cause you know, I, I bought into everything. I, I thought the anabolic window was real. Then you start, if you don't eat enough protein after you work out, then you're actually going to be breaking down your muscles rather than building them up. Where you had to drink a protein shake within 30 minutes, otherwise you'd lose all your gains. I thought that you could target fat loss by doing certain exercises, I thought there were shortcuts to fat loss. Um, so my advice to help you avoid some of the mistakes that I made in just believing everything would be to just question. Question everything, take everything with a grain of salt. And it sounds kind of depressing to have like the skeptical view, but I think it will actually help you in the long run. And it will actually help you learn because if you're researching all of this stuff, you will end up taking that knowledge in. And in the future, when you hear something else, you can base that on what you've already taken in and said, oh, hey, you know, I read, I read that this actually doesn't work. How could this be true? So that's what, that's what my biggest piece of advice is, to be skeptical and do your research. So the last mistake I made was I compared myself to others. And I'm never gonna be Arnold. Even if I did everything right, you know, I worked out just as hard as he did. I had the same access to the gym that he had, and I even took steroids. I could never be him because we're different people, our DNA is different. But I believed in my head when I was a teenager that I could, and um, I set these unrealistic standards because I was comparing myself to these people who had years of training ahead of me and years of just experience and knowledge, and that's what I was comparing myself to. And it really doesn't make you happy, it just sets you up for failure because you're constantly chasing this pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Um, and so my advice is to compare yourself to only yourself. Look at your past and compare who you want to become in the future. Set goals, but don't let those define you either. You know, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone fails at a certain time, but it's not, what makes a winner is not how many bodybuilding shows they win. It's not how many like powerlifting meets they compete in and how many records they set. It's not how many subscribers they have or how much money they have. True winners or true successes are defined by, you know, the failures that they make and the lessons that they learn and how they overcome it. 
um, no matter how many obstacles they have, how do they reach the goal that they have set before? You know, don't let yourself be defined by the mistakes that you've made and the failures. You know, there's always room for improvement. You can always, always take another step to go achieve that goal. Um, and so that's what I've learned. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes in in my years of training and in life. But you know, you learn from those mistakes. And I don't think I would be in this in the place that I am today. It sounds cliche, but you know, I wouldn't take back any of the things that I've done um, because it helped educate me and help mold me into the person I am today. So hopefully, now I'm not saying you want to willingly go through those mistakes that I made, but hopefully that'll save you and you guys hopefully can learn from this. Um, but yeah, that's going to pretty much do it guys. If you have ever gone through any of these things before, comment down below. We can have some good laughs, but, um, I want to appreciate you guys for watching today. I really thank you a lot. It means a lot. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.